Go small down, is there? That's me. And that's the bigger arm? Yeah. No fat into here now. All gone. Ah. Hello, gorgeous. Look, it's Claire. Welcome to Catalina Caboose. We are in, where are we? Lee Delamere. Lee Delamere. Yeah, it's shit. It's the, it's the, yeah, it's it's the pinnacle of all. It's, it's dank. If ever there was a place to be called dank this year. Pretty grim. And it's like 4 a.m. and we're off to Estonia. We are. Yeah. And Claire's coming with me because we're having, when well, I'm having surgery, Claire's going to watch. I'm not having surgery. No, Claire's like an observer. Can I observe the zip? I, I, I need coffee. This is what's happening at 4 a.m. <laughs> Uh, and, and caffeine is going to call us Red Bulls. Hey, so we are aboard. Um, we're taking off in about 10 minutes. Not going to be doing much recording mid flight, but. Um, I think we're still on to go live a little later, so that's going to be fun. Let's see, Claire is sitting there. Uh, I'm blocking the light. Um, kind of a grotty plane. It's really old and it's like a bit pop. Business class basically means we get a table between us. The, the seats are the same size. So, uh, yay. It's fair to say I'm not a huge fan of flying and we're about to take off. Because over there, there's the runway we've just gone on to. So, um, it's after quite a short flight, we've, um, we've arrived near Estonia and we'll be landing in a few minutes. Let's show you some Estonia outside. Better of a strangers, believe me when I say, loving me is loving danger, your heart is bound to break. I walk alone in the night, beneath the pale moon. So we've landed in Estonia. Um, immigration. Well, I think it was immigration. It was just a wooden do door. It was a wooden door. Did you have to walk through? <laughs> they got it. Right, yeah, come on in. Was it a secret knock? They didn't even say, come on in. They just sort of smiled. I look great. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, yeah, we're going to the city now. Hang on. To the city. We have a city in Estonia. And we're going to it. So, as well as my hair being crazy, um, Estonia is really warm. Oh, look, and there's, 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 um, there's, a, there's somebody who looks quite wild. Hang on, you need to see this. I, I mean, I'm fine with using leather or animal prod, animal products if we're using the animal for food as well, but just to kill something just for vanity, for its bit its, its skin? No, no, we don't like that. Claire doesn't like that, but... Yeah, don't like that. Because there's no likey face. Ooh. We're going to a taxi, and then we're going to have to learn to speak Estonian. Let's find a taxi. These look like taxis. There's Kiss and fly. <laughs> Hello. Hi. This is the taxi man who's going to come and take us yes. to the hotel. The Hotel Imperial, I think we're going. Imperial. Imp yes. So, yes, so we're at the taxi. So Claire's grabbing the cases because like, I'm doing the filming, which is next. See, look, at, see Claire like, doing the cases. That's my case. She's done. Thank you. I'll get in then. Get in then. Are you, are you coming? Yeah, I'll fly. Yeah, I would. Right. I'll go outside then. I'm going in the car. Action shots as they happen. Like, we are now in the taxi. So we're wandering down the street in Tallinn. 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 I can never pronounce Tallin. this. Tallinn. Are you sure? Yeah. Tallinn is thank you. So here we are. Yes, in Tallinn. This is the best place to get some. We're going to look at some lucky souvenirs now. So um, where are we? In the town square of Tallinn. Tallinn. Yeah, it's, like, it's just it's all very, very town square to be honest. It is quite nice. There's lots of pubs and stuff around and souvenir-y things, which is cool. And I think it's like, and we've discovered a pizza place, which is also cool. I know you can't see me at all. So, yeah, it's quite nice, yeah. So they're not going to get much time to be here, unfortunately, because tomorrow hospitaling starts. I'm crazy here. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, we're searching for the lost and found. So we've been exploring, um, as you do, I'm in a place called Old Town, which is full of like cobbled streets and cool things. And we've discovered this cake shop. I know. We've got cheesecake and strawberry cake and berries and oh, so much good stuff. Uh, chocolate. It's three different chocolates. Oh. White, brown, and dark brown. Ooh, that one? Yes. Yeah, it looks good. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Just stare, cause the flames will burn us back. I thought you were the one for me. That's why I gave you everything. Held you close by the stormy seas. Oh, you meant the world to me. 
So it's day two in Estonia and the uh, car is about to come and get us to take us to the hospital. So that's going to be exciting. And I'll be honest, the um, it's starting to sink in now of just how much surgery is ahead today. It's going to be like a, like a big procedure with arms, body lift, uh, liposuction all over the place. So I'm um, starting to feel a little nervous, to be honest. I don't normally do nervous until right before surgery, but I'm starting to feel a bit nervous. As, as I speak now, I'm like, I want this to be over with now. I'm also absolutely ravenous because I'm not allowed to eat or drink. I'm not quite sure why that is, actually. Probably because I don't shit the bed during surgery, which would be really, you know, awkward, right? So yeah, that's, so that's, so that's where I'm at. I'll show you some pictures of the hotel we're in. I'll take a couple of video clips before we leave. It's stunning, by the way. It's the Imperial in Estonia, and it's in the middle of um, Estonian Old Town, or Old Town in Estonia. And it's stunning. It's all like part brick, and it's got lots of wood and timber, and um, uh, a barely accessible bath, which is fun. So um, yeah, it's really, really, really nice. Really properly nice, all cobbled streets, and it, not at all what I expected. So that's happened. Next stop at the, uh, at the hospital. I'm so hungry. Send food. Just stay right here with me. Hello, so we are in the car. Mara is in the front there, I should say. That's Mara. Hi. So Mara's come to pick us up and take us to the hospital. It's a beautiful day. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's something like, like 15, 20 degrees outside. It's, it's, it's warm, it's lovely. Estonia is so pretty. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just stunned at how nice the place is. Still feeling a bit nervous because it's happening. Claire's here. Let's, let's, let's do some B-roll so you can see where we're at. So we're in the hospital, I've got this fancy green t-shirt down. Hey, so we're here with Dr. Simo and he's going to um, be doing all of the surgery this afternoon. So um, what are we going to do? We are doing abdominoplasty, we are taking off extra skin and, and fat here. We are doing incision down there and now. So we are doing uh, liposuction in the upper part and here in the side. Four stages of liposuction around, this, around my back and around my abdomen. Suck everything away and put everything nice and tight. Then we are suturing all it together. Then we are checking out those uh, muscles. In uh, probably we need to some uh, put some extra sutures to the muscle. So my sides are going to be brought in, and my sides are already quite lean actually. But I'm going to have an interior corset done, which will pull everything in internally to give me more of a waist. And the excess fat here is going to be liposuctioned and the skin brought down and my belly button repositioned. Oh, that's so gross. And after that, we are doing arms. So there are drawings and we are taking also that extra part away. And all this is going to be hoovered up, suctioned up. <laughs> so gross. The fat here is going to be excised and um, thrown away, discarded. That's it. That's cool. Yeah. Ah! So, there we go. Okay, see you in the Thanks. operation room. So there we go, that's what's happening today. How, how, how good does this look? Rocking it. Yeah. 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 So, uh, the surgeon has been, and I've had lines all over me, as you saw. <laughs> uh, and he's very nice. However, it's been a little while now since he left, and I'm going through that. I need this to be over now. The, um, the anxiety and the whole, uh, everything that's about to happen is like imminent. Need this to be done soon or, or I'm going to be running away barefoot <laughs> in Estonia, which um, that's an entirely different video. So there we go. Hopefully it's soon. Hey, so I am, I'm, I'm out of surgery. Five hours of surgery, lots of bandages and a strange orange tan. So I've got like a, like a, like a semi-trump going on. Yeah, you trumped me, which is good. I'm okay, actually. Okay, so before going into theatre, Full disclosure, I got I got very scared, and it's something you know. People say, "Oh, you're so brave," and I don't I don't I don't I don't really like, no, no, it's fine. 
actually, as I was lying in the theater, I started to have that fight or flight thing going on. I wasn't re really was unhappy. And if ha had, I, I was even thinking, oh, I, can't, I can't go through with it. So, and that's rare, I've never had that before, that actual fear, so that happened. But then I was unconscious. And then I was suddenly waking up in recovery. <clears throat> Recovery, as always, sucks. I was telling myself, never doing this again. My jaw was doing that sort of, uh, like a trembly thing, which is really strange. And I, I was kind of like, I don't know, I was just talking shit. Had some um, had a pill, which stopped my face vibrating, which was good. And then I was there for ages, and then, and, then all, and then all the blood fell out, which was a little bit worrying. I looked to my side, and it was just pools of blood pouring out of my arm. But then the nurse came and looked concerned and fixed that. It's, it's, there's lots of stitches going on, so that was all fixed. I was in recovery for a few hours, so it was like, yeah, I was out of the room for, for from about midday till gone nine, nine thirty, so nine hours in total of recovery and surgery time. So it was quite a lot. But then this is a big procedure. We don't do this everywhere because it is a big procedure. The bulk of the stuff is done in one shot. But you know, um, I've only really had I had some fairly mild painkillers afterwards. I'm off painkillers now. I haven't had any painkillers this morning. Still weak, a bit fragile. But so far, so good. So, um, yeah, we'll check in later with a proper day two update. And outside is Estonia. So it's a, it's a little shot of Estonia. And we can put some Estonia music. <laughs> Can't really see anything. No, it's very pretty, though. So I'm going to show you these, because these are the coolest things ever. I've got these, like, squeezy bottles. And they fill with blood. And they attach down here, in, like, just above my groin. And then when I squeeze my groin area, the blood fluids, no. moves in them. Do, 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 do. Ah, honestly, this is so much fun. I'm trying to get a tune out of them, but they don't they don't really play much in the wave music. And I probably shouldn't squeeze them because it'll just pump everything back in. So yeah, so that happened. That's exciting. And also those are crumbs from toast that I had earlier. Blood accordions. And when you walk around, they hang like in front of you. Hey, everybody. No, not hey, everybody. Wrong intro. Hey, you. So um, doctor's just been here and uh, we've been I've been discharged, which means Claire's also been discharged, and uh, we can leave. So we're just packing up our things, and then gonna have some cheeky lunch before we go and run away. So I've got this cool, like, black compression thing on. It's like how small my arms are. That's my arms. And that's the bigger arm? Yeah. No fat under here now. All gone. Ah. And then my waist. It's all, it's all here. It's really odd now. I've got like a love handle type thing going on, because it's got this like um, elastic corset on. Flat. Ow, don't do that. Yeah. So we're just, yeah, just packing and heading back to the airport. The only thing is, it's about eight hours to our flight, which is almost forever. But it's an hour to the airport, or 45 minutes to the airport. But the airport's got like snacks and sweets, and um, apparently there's a gadget shop or something, and they sell cheese. You know, all the all the essentials are going to be there. And also, I'm not in pain. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I did, have, I, did, I, did I was injected in my ass earlier. I was a surprise. The nurse said, "Oh, can you just roll over. You're gonna get this bandage, and then wham, needle in the bum." So that was a bit of a shock, I'll be honest. And, and I went, "Ouch." There we are, feeling good. That's so bizarre. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. That was the uh, that was the end of the hospital. We are now back in the taxi, heading to the hospital. No, heading to the airport. The airport. Our flight's in a few hours' time, and uh, we've, <laughs> our taxi was waiting for us. He's amazing. He was really just superb. So we're just heading uh, in the Estonian evening, and I'm feeling really good. I can't believe that I've I've had major surgery just 48 hours ago because I don't feel I don't feel any pain. I feel mild discomfort. The hardest part are the layers of clothing I have to wear because I've got these compression sleeves on under my top and I've got a compression like, corset on. So I've got lots and lots of layers, which would be fine if it was cold, but it's not, it's really hot, it's like 22 degrees. So I'm physically wearing um, a wetsuit underneath my clothes, so that's, so that's fun. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at, and that's Claire. Not with lots of layers, looking very comfortable. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, hot. Yeah. I feel good. It's barely sore. I felt worse. After, yeah, I don't know. You were worse after minutes. Yeah, I was worse after all, after, after a haircut. I was worse after a trip to the dentist. Yeah. yeah. This is crazy how fine I feel. So I'm not, I haven't had a, apart from a cheeky painkiller in the bum injection this morning, it's like 12 hours ago, I've had no painkillers and I feel absolutely fine. I do think I might be a little bit tired walking to the taxi just now. While it was nice to stretch my legs, I could feel myself getting ever so slightly Oh, I need to catch my breath a little bit. So I guess, but then I haven't, I haven't moved for a couple of days, and I've, you know, I've lost several pints of blood. So you know, good times, right? 
So there we go. That's my little update. I'll, uh, I'll check in again at the airport. I think what surprised me more than anything about Tallinn and Estonia is it's just like other cities. I mean, you know, it's it's European, so um, but then so is Britain. But we drive on the left, they drive on the right here, but the makes of cars are much the same. There's signposts of arrows and no entry signs, and the shops are very similar. The language is different, but I mean, other than other than some of the some of the architecture, it's kind of just like a city. It is. It really is. If you were to, if you were to land here right now and open your eyes, and someone said you're in London, for a, for a minute you'd be thinking, oh, okay, and you, you know, it would take you, uh, you know, yeah. a minute to to realise you're not. And that's so different to what my ex expectation was. I was really expecting it to be, you know, rural and hats. I don't know why. I just assumed everybody would wear hats. I don't know why that is in my head. And uh, it's not. It's just it's really, 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 really nice. I see one person wearing a hat. I don't think I have. I'm not. I'm, I like hats. Except the surgeon, you need a hat. Surgeon, you a hat. On. Yeah. But Estonia is lovely. It really is lovely. It's a real surprise. Although apparently we, we have come here on the nicest day that ever recorded in history or something. It's really really warm and lovely. And apparently it's not quite this warm. Beautiful place. Hey, it's kind of loud. So I'm not sure how well you can hear us. But um, we're on the plane, flying back. That not far away now. We'll be landing. It's quite late. It's. Um, about midnight in Estonia and about uh, 10 in the UK and then we've got a few hours drive home so we're on our way and I'm so tired I'm I'm running on empty I'm not gonna lie really really tired but luckily Claire's here Claire's a little less tired so Claire's gonna be doing the driving which is good yay so there you go speak to you when we land back from Estonia and after having my abdominoplasty and arm lift procedure and I'm feeling pretty good. My arms, well there you go, you can see I no longer have any arm fat under my arms, yay! So that's really bizarre, kind of sore and my belly, you could, that's not really going to show up on this camera but it's very flat. I am however quite swollen so I've got to wait for that to go down. I'm also wearing um, these black sleeves you can see, uh, compression sleeves which are to basically stop the wounds opening and to help the liposuction and they're all part of the healing process. Um, so yeah, yeah, so that was good. And also, you may remember the Yoins and Rosegal Hall video I did last week. Well, remember that black top with the lattice front that I liked but I couldn't wear because it was just so tight it was painted on? I'm wearing it and look, it's not even tight on the sleeves, but it's my size. That's good. No, I'll be honest, I did buy these to wear them when I was a fair bit bigger. So just to put that out there, Yoins, you know, Rosegal, etc. They're not the size they advertise, they're particularly small. But, uh, and there's another clothing haul coming up shortly. I did it yesterday, just after I got home. And I'm now a size 12 to 14. Bear that in mind when you see that this is advertised as around a 16 to 18. And I'm, I'm now a 12 to 14 and it's snug. I would say this is closer to a 12, possibly even a 10. But it does now fit, it's not pulling anywhere, and I think it looks quite good now, actually. And amazingly, the fabric is actually a very good match for these sleeves. So I can kind of wear it as a long sleeve top with this. Matches really well. So that's good. Every cloud, yay. So there you go. That's, uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope this video is helpful to anybody who's about to go for a similar procedure or is shortlisting places to go. They blew me away over there. The Estonian clinic, it was absolutely phenomenal. Incredible levels of service. The food was amazing. The procedure was amazing. The care was amazing. The place is amazing. Everything about it was superb. So uh, yeah, I can't praise it highly enough. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please comment, like, share, subscribe, dislike. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you in the very next show. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.